And today is St. Patrick's Day. AAA is working to keep impaired drivers off the road. Yeah, the group is reactivating its Tow to Go program. And on your side, Xavier Harris joining us now this morning with exactly how this program works. Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, Chris Avery. Well, let's just say someone wants to celebrate St. Patrick's Day at their local bar. Well, they can get out and do that, but there is an issue. If you get too uh, inebriated or if you drink too much, you definitely uh, can't get a ride home. You can call AAA and someone will come out and tow not only you, but your car as well. Now, this service is free to both AAA members and non-members. It starts tonight at 6 and will continue until 6 a.m. Monday. I spoke with a spokesperson for the company and I'm told this program has been around since the 90s and they started it because they wanted to keep impaired drivers off the road. In fact, since it started, the program has removed more than 25,000 impaired drivers from the road. You might think that you're a great driver when you're drunk, but chances are, you know, and, and statistics have shown us that people are not. People make mistakes when they're behind the wheel, especially when their mind is altered while being impaired. Now, I'm told while this program is free and confidential, it should be treated as a last resort. Now, the program also is only for one person per vehicle, and they want you to make sure to call them at that number that's on your screen, or you can visit the WFLA website. For now, we're live in Tampa. Xavier Harris, 8 on your side. Yeah, it's a great program. And uh, Xavier, we want to welcome you to the News Channel 8 Today team. Happy to have you. Tell us real quick, what's something interesting that viewers and us, what should we know about you? Well, Avery, I'm definitely glad to be here. Um, I will say one thing about me. I am a big time shoe collector. So nine oh. times out of 10, if you'll see me out, I'll be in a suit, but you'll definitely see me <laughs> in a pair of either Nikes, Jordans, Adidas, or something. I'm gonna have them on every time. They're my favorite. <laughs> uh, and I spend probably a little too much money on them as well. <laughs> but I'm definitely glad to be here. All right, we're gonna have to get the Xavier shoe cam. Seriously, yeah. I noticed those shoes as soon as I saw you when I walked in this morning, by the way, and they're slick. <laughs> Great to have you, Xavier. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You got any cool shoes like that on Amanda? No. No? I'll leave that to Xavier. I'm, I'm the worst with shoes. I wish I had more. I just have terrible style, so I stick with a couple. I stick with tan and black, and that's good with me. They go with everything. <laughs> Quiet weather right now across the Tampa Bay area. High pressure and control. It has pushed all of that rain and those storms that we had yesterday out of our area. And we're dealing with pretty calm conditions to start our day. 65 in Newport Ritchie. We got pretty lucky with St. Patrick's Day today because all of that rain is gone. And we have some lower humidity in place. As we go toward the 3 o'clock hour, we're going to be right around 81 degrees. So, yes, yesterday's rain was a cold front, but really the only thing it did was bring in some lower humidity. That means it's going to be pretty nice, though, this evening. By 6 o'clock, we'll be around 78. 8 o'clock, 73. So staying mild as we head through the overnight hours. It'll be a good day to take the boat out as well. Light winds west at about 5 knots. Seas 2 feet smooth. Bay and inland waters. I want to watch out for some patchy fog this morning. It's mainly going to be for our inland locations, though. Pleasant humidity today. We're in this really nice category. It does not stick around for long, though. You got to get outside and enjoy it today because that humidity really returns for Friday and into Saturday before we see another dip as we head into next week, thanks to another front. But as the moisture starts to return for Friday and into Saturday, we are going to increase those rain chances slightly. We'll take a look at future radar coming up here in just a few minutes so you can plan out your weekend. For now, let's check in on traffic with Deanne. Girl! Oh, you do not have terrible style. <laughs> I do not want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> Amanda Holly, we you. were going to act like Thanks. she didn't even say that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hey, we're waking up, taking a live look in Pinellas County. I-275 southbound lanes right at Roosevelt Boulevard. What's happening here, if you're going to be traveling southbound in this area until about 6 o'clock this morning, you're going to be forced off of the interstate. All southbound lanes are shut down at this exit. And what's going to happen? Once you get off on Roosevelt Boulevard, you'll basically be able to see, like, you're not going to even drive far. You can make a U-turn, and then you'll be able to hop right back onto I-275 and continue heading southbound. This will happen again tomorrow. Back to you. Reporting live in Tampa, Xavier Harris, 8 on your side.
Thank you, Xavier. And Xavier is our newest team member here at Ann on Your Side. Xavier, welcome to the team. We want the viewers to know a little bit more about you. We've been learning about you all morning long. So earlier we learned that Xavier's uh, yes. shoe game Quite is impressive. on point. <laughs> um, but you know, the Bay Area is known for a lot of great restaurants. Wonder what your favorite food is as well. Okay, well, I am extremely picky when it comes to food. So you, this is an easy question. Um, I only eat one meat and that's chicken. Um, I cannot eat seafood. I'm completely horrified of seafood. I don't like to eat anything that looks the same, alive and dead. Oh, no. So seafood is a big no-no to me. Uh, that, that, that's my big no-no is seafood. I, I'm not allergic to it. I just, I don't like it. I was going to say, okay, well, I'm allergic to shellfish. I yeah. do like fish, though, but that's really funny. Yeah, horrified, horrified is the word. Horrified, he says. All of it's no. Horrified. There's, right. there's no way we can change your mind. we got some good seafood places here. No way. All right, there's listen, no way. we got plenty there's of other no good way. options for you, though. We're yeah, good. Yeah, we do. We'll get you on the <laughs> Cuban sandwich train soon yeah. enough. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Xavier. More for us, Amanda. More for us. I was going to say he's, um, he's horrified of uh, seafood like Deanne is allergic to mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be putting my stuff out there like that. Had to go there. <laughs> right now, pretty quiet out there. We, look at this. We've got a thin layer of fog right on top of those solar panels from our Tampa electric camera. Otherwise, clear skies, calm conditions. 62 right now out there along the coast in Apollo Beach. As we go through the day, it is going to warm up by noon. We're at 76 by 3 o'clock, 81. Low humidity, though, so no rain in our forecast. It'll be a pretty nice St. Patrick's Day for you, especially this evening when those temperatures start to drop into the lower to mid 70s. If you're headed out on the boat today, winds will be west at about 5 knots, seas 2 feet, smooth bay and inland waters, Gulf temperature at about 70 degrees. Again, the humidity today, very pleasant. You got to soak it up, though, because it's not in this category for very long. In fact, that humidity starts to return on Friday and into Saturday with those dew points back in the mid to upper 60s. That's going to allow a few showers to form Friday and Saturday afternoon as well, but mainly east of I-75. And then we get another drop in that humidity for early next week. That's behind a front that will come through on Sunday and give us a 30% rain chance. Deanne? Listen, there's a difference. <laughs> I am allergic. <laughs> I'm allergic. All right, there you go. There you go. The air quotes. <laughs> yeah, okay. So maybe Xavier is allergic, yeah. you know, to seafood. Uh, <laughs> we're going to stick to that, all right? <laughs> Good morning, everybody.